Hello guys, welcome to EZT Presents Tech View, another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys uh, how you can generate your BMR report, like B-Center report or your B-Center inventory report. Like if you have a multiple ESXi in your B-Center, then how you can generate the report. Generate the report means the entire inventory of your B-Center. So entire inventory of your B-Center means how many ESXi you have, how many standards which you have, how many distributed port group you have, how many license you have, how many virtual machine you have, and also which virtual machine is connected with which uh, uh, network adapter or network um, port group. Like each and every pieces of information you can get it from there, that report. And how you can generate that report. It's pretty simple and easy. You can generate that report through a tools. That tool's name is RB tools and I'm going to show you that RB tools how you can ins uh, download install and then through these tools how we can generate the report and that tools is um, completely free and it's really 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 small tools let's get started okay so um, say so yeah, RB tools download right so you just, you can, so the tool's name is RV Tools. You can just search RV Tools, download, and hit enter. And then it will give you the options to download the RV Tools. Let's just give one second. So RV Tools, they have a website, rvtools.net, and just all right, right click here and just open a new tab. So you can have this search result, plus you can have the website. And on the website, like, by default, it will take you to the download folder because you search for download, right? And then click on the download. Okay. You see here, when I click the download, it's, it's just only eight megabyte. Can you imagine? It's just only eight megabyte. So it's already downloaded and what do you need to do? You just need to install it. So where is downloaded? It's downloaded on my, uh, this is my Windows 10 machine. It's kind of jump machine. So uh, it's downloaded here on the download folder. So I'm going to right click on it and then install. And then you can say agree, next. And for everyone or just you, what is up to you, you can click next. It's pretty simple tools, that's why I'm not wasting that much time. Just say um, back, yes, let's make uh, make it better, okay? All right, so yes, install. And close. So now, where's my vCenter name? This is my vCenter, ELS. So, I'm going to copy the, uh, my vCenter name. So vCenter name or vCenter, vCenter FQDN or vCenter IP address. I'm going to minimize this one. So from the RB tools, double click on the RB tools. And in here, IP address or name, that means FQDN of your vCenter or IP address of your vCenter and then it says uh, SSM admin in this machine. I logged in as SSM admin, but SSM admin doesn't have the access on B Center. So I'm going to uncheck it and type here uh, your B Center name. What is your B Center name? Sorry, your B Center uh, credential. Administrator at spr.local. So if you have administrative privilege access with your Active Directory users, you can type your Active Directory users here. It's not an issue. So I actually use the local administrator from uh, under bspr.local. So enter. So the RB tools we downloaded is 4.7 version. If you click here, okay. So now it's generating actually, it's connecting with my vCenter and and see, so it has all the tabs here, virtual machine info, how many virtual machine I have. So in this is my home lab. I have like a 
like it's like very limited VMs, but in your real environment, enterprise level, you will have maybe 2000 uh, server. So you'll have all 2000 server by virtual machine list here. And also each and every virtual machine with connected with which your host, uh, everything, all the information you see here is a huge information. It's a huge information and all our important information, you need, you don't need it when you do the, some kind of research or like for any, 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 any kind of issues like happen. So CPU separately, you can count the CPU, how much CPU, how many CPU is using for each VM based on the virtual machine, also based on the ESXA host, the so memory, disk, partition, network, it also shows the network. And also snapshot. If you have a snapshot, if you have a multiple snapshot in multiple machine, it's gonna give you the list here. So based on that, you can uh, remove the uh, 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 snapshot from the ESXA host. And tools, BMR tools. Which VMs has BMR tools? You have, and also which version? So you can have all uh, like list. So based on that, you can maybe upgrade, or you can if there is no tools, then you can install it. So you have like have all the information, source, cluster, host. So if you have a host configured, then it's gonna show you the host, how many hosts in one cluster, or physical, how many hosts do you have? So it's, it's actually showing total ESXA host. I have total three ESXA host. It's my home lab. And HV, um, BHVA. So, NIC card, you see the NIC information, and also the switch, how many standard switch you have, and then port group, how many port group, standard port group you have, and then distributed switch, how many distributed switch you have, distributed port group, how many distributed port group you created, and data store, how many data store you have on your entire center, multiple, multiple license, this license is here, how many license you, you have in your inventory. So this is my inventory list. And so you have all the information here, but how you can um, download it. So you can, you can, you can, if you click on file, you can see export to Excel or export to CSV, whatever you want. So I can export it Excel, click Excel, and then it's gonna ask you to download higher. So I can say, okay, download, uh, download folder. Okay, so now it's going to save you see here, it's still all the tabs is saving all the tab. And it's really important things. And it, it help you a lot whenever you have this kind of, so I'll highly recommend all of you guys, whoever is watching this video, if you work in your real environment or enterprise level environment, please at least every, uh, at least every week generate this report two or three times, maybe at least two times, Monday and Friday, closing day. Actually not Monday and Friday because in between you don't have that much change. So you can do it like say for example, Tuesday and Thursday, right? So at least two times in a week generated because if something goes wrong for just any, any kind of incident that can be happen anytime. So in that case, you will have all information here. So based on that, you can, this is a one another kind of, not only report is another kind of backup also, like you can have information backup. So which billion is associated with which virtual machine. So you can have a lot of information here, right? So my uh, Excel file is already generated. If I go to the download folder, I cannot see here, you see the report is already generated. I cannot open it here because um, I don't have Excel here on this computer. So I'm going to just move it to my desktop computer. Okay, I'm going to move it here, paste it here, and then open it, RV tools, just the one I just generated. You see here? So I have everything. It's the B virtual machine information, BCPU, memory, disk, partitions, network, uh, snapshot, how many snapshot I have, which machine I have a snapshot, everything I have, all the information.
So we tools BMR tools. So BMR tools is installed with which virtual machine? Virtual machine list is there and host. How many hosts I have? You can see from there. And also, it's a lot of information. It's not a single information. It's a lot of information. And also, what kind of license you you assign to this machine? Also, you can have this information. And uh, and also, you can see the version, which current version you have on your ESXi. So everything, each and every pieces of information you can have from this report, you see, it's a huge, it's a huge. And then it's BA and I see Nick, then switch. You see, license, health, you have everything. And that's all. That's what I, I try to show you. So through the RV tools, you will be able to generate the report and that help you a lot. So I, that's why I recommend you, if you work for a company, enterprise level, please at least generate um, report, BM, like your base center report twice a week through the RV tools. That's all, thank you, thanks for watching. And if you think this video is helpful for, um, like it's helpful, uh, please, give a big thumbs up and make some comments your comments encourage me a lot to make more videos for you guys and also if you're new in my channel please subscribe my channel thank you thank thanks again and i'll see you guys in another video